Hello everybody, this is day one after round five of chemotherapy. And you can probably tell by the way I'm talking that uh, so far I'm doing okay. Um, I was very surprised uh, last night. Um, I felt no side effects last night. Usually I'll feel a little bit of nausea for a while. After round three, it was extremely bad. After round two, it was really bad. Round one, I slept through it because they gave it to me so late. Last night, round five, nothing. <clears throat> I can tell a little bit of a difference. I feel the, the buzziness, the fuzziness in my head, so that's starting to take shape. So that'll come back. That'll get worse as we head over the next few days. I should be okay tomorrow again. Sunday is when I'll probably be the wor starting to feel the worst, and then all next week. Um, my doctors are giving me uh, antibiotics starting next week as a precaution because I've caught an infection every single time I've I've uh, been on chemo. So once the chemo itself is out of my system, I'm going to start antibiotics. That's when the uh, blood counts drop the lowest. I don't really like, I think the reason I was feel, feeling so sick after round three, nauseous wise, and round two was because I was on antibiotics for infections while I was on chemo. And I think the combination of those is what made me feel so sick. Last time I was not on any antibiotics while I was on chemo and I didn't feel sick to my stomach. I just felt sick everywhere else and got real bad. So this time, hopefully we'll be able to fight off the infections and I'll just be lethargic and tired for a while. <clears throat> That's the thought. I actually drove to the store today and bought some, some food that I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. Uh, I'm gonna make a chicken and shrimp scampi. I made a shrimp scampi the other night that was phenomenal. And I, every once in a while, we'll cook some, I'll cook some at the house. Or even one time my daughter, she cooked the grilled cheese that she made special the way she does it. And whenever we cook something that's like, it just really is great. Um, I'll always say, yeah, I could sell that. Meaning, you know, if I still was in the restaurant business, that would sell. And that scampi I made the other day will sell, even though I was the only one that ate it. Um, I'm throwing chicken in there for, for my wife. She's more of a chicken than a shrimp, but she'll eat the shrimp too a little bit. I'm gonna keep them separated in case she doesn't want any shrimp. And then I have my mom over. Uh, Halen, not at home tonight. So I've got a little bit of a war. She's at a concert in St. Louis. I think they grow up so fast, 18 years old uh, now. And, uh, you know, she's technically an adult. You got to kind of branch off and let them do their own thing. But I know all you parents out there know what I'm going through right now. You just worry about that. So anyway, I'm glad I'm not feeling horrible today. I, I really didn't think I was going to feel too bad today. Usually Fridays are pretty good after chemo. But it's usually the Thursday night that I feel really, really bad. And I just wanted to document that last night that didn't happen. That that felt uh, that felt really really nice. Um, got a lot of well wishes out there and prayers and thoughts and prayers, and I'm sure that has a lot to do with it. I uh, <clears throat> ran into uh, we were we were in a line to get food yesterday for for lunch, and it was real crowded at the hospital. And there was one of the lines that everybody was in, and right when you got up there, it said cash or employee card only. So you didn't know you couldn't use credit card. All the others you can use credit card. And there was this older lady in front of me and uh, she had a credit card out. And uh, she said, um, I don't have cash. Well, she didn't say I didn't have cash. She said, it's cash only. And and I looked at the cashier and I was like, what is it? And she said, it was like $16. And I was like, I got it. I got it. I'm gonna take care of it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go get in a new line because the lines were really, really long. And uh, she went digging around her purse and she found some money. But she did say that, uh, she said, God's going to bless you tonight. So maybe that was it. Who knows? Um, that was that was a pretty nice story. Uh, another story that I want to share, again, that I, you know, I talk about how all you guys have been giving me thoughts and prayers. I want you to think about some others that are suffering right now. I ran into our family from Southern Illinois again. Again, I can't remember the exact location or the name. Um, the one who's... They lost their son and from from cancer, and their daughter is battling. And we, we were talking, and uh, I, the mother saw me and came up and saw saw me. We 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 talked a little bit, and she was 
she's really teary eyed. So I'm really, really worried about this family. So, um, again, I don't know the name, but instead of thinking about me tonight, just in your thoughts and prayers, just kind of say something out for her because uh, they need it. They need it more than I do. They, they definitely do. I, I'm doing all right. I may not be doing well in four or five days, but for tonight, I'm doing all right. So that's what's going on. Real quick, uh, touching up on the weather. Again, I'm out for the count probably for the next few days. If I feel like I do today on Sunday and things get rough, I'll probably come in and help. But I seriously doubt I'll feel, I have never felt like this on a Sunday. Sundays, I've, Sundays after chemo, I've always felt really bad. So I doubt I'll be able to come in. So let's talk briefly about Sunday and what to prepare for and why you need to pay attention to all uh, of the weather team that's going to be there tracking it. So it's still looking like there's the possibility that a complex of storms could move in early Sunday, uh, maybe even pre-dawn Sunday. Uh, those could produce some damaging winds and some some marginally severe hail, meaning maybe up to the size of quarters. Just all depends on how um, how strong the line of storms is when they when they exit Iowa and start racing southeast down the Mississippi River Valley. Uh, then, can the atmosphere recover Sunday afternoon? Most of our guidance is suggesting the afternoon not only will recover, but the mid-levels of the atmosphere may get very warm as well. And if that happens, then we will get a cap, and that will protect most of the area Sunday afternoon. If we don't get that cap and the atmosphere recovers, isolated, very severe storms could form. What I mean by very severe, these will be the kind of storms that could produce up to baseball size hail, 80 mile per hour winds, maybe a tornado. The lower wind fields aren't very favorable for tornadoes uh, Sunday afternoon, but sometimes the amount of energy can compensate for the lack of low level winds and increase circulations in the low level. So that's something we got to worry about. There's not going to be, it doesn't look like an outbreak or anything. It'd just be a couple of isolated storms. Uh, but with the amount of energy that'll be available, uh, you know, I look at what's called soundings and analogs, and I look at the soundings that gives you the profile of the atmosphere, and these soundings have analogs tagged to them that have produced up to softball size hail at times. That is extremely rare, probably won't happen, but you have seen what's been going around the country lately. In Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, even Georgia have been seeing hailstones last week that were... Uh, way bigger than they ever would expect. Mississippi set the state record twice in one week for hailstone size. And it's all because we have summer heat, which is produces a lot of energy, but we have very strong mid-level winds, which are very unusual for this time of year. They're usually not over us. They're usually up in Canada and the Dakotas, not down this far south. So that's what makes the thunderstorm ch chance a little, a little rough. So, um, that's something I'm going to watch closely tomorrow, and I may do another video update tomorrow because I'll probably feel okay tomorrow. I won't feel this good tomorrow, but I'll feel okay. And then Sunday, unfortunately, is when things go down. Hopefully, hopefully I can can uh, feel good Sunday if I because I will I will feel very very guilty if things get out of hand and I can't be there. Um, I'll, I will want to be there, but you know if I can't, I can't. And we've had so many severe episodes episodes this spring when I've been down for the count and it just makes me mad. But um, anyway, I've rambled on enough. Uh, thanks for all the thoughts, prayers, and well wishes. Again, think about that family. I wish I had their names. I'm sorry. I, I keep forgetting to ask. But just think about that family. They're in Southern Illinois. They are local. They watch us and uh, they need our thoughts and prayers bad right now. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks, y'all.